feel like I'm losing my mind Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign, a sign um, this is FAQ to Madness. My name is Craig, and I am going to be doing kind of a look through of a video of uh, Auditing While Black entitled Hateful Sheriff Threatens uh, Black Jonas for Documenting Corruption. There's going to be a representative from the Sheriff's Office coming over to speak with you. Okay. The reason being is it's a secure facility. And so it's not public? Not past this point. It is. I told you that what do you mean? Can't. This is a controlled access. Hey, well, you need to stop recording when I'm reading it, okay? Why? Well, this is the thing. Because we're going to discuss it, and I'm going to let you know this why you can't setup. record in here. Okay, well, okay. I would like to document. So turn it off until we finish speaking, okay? If I don't turn it off, are you going to arrest me? Just turn it off. Stop following me. I'm not following okay. you. Okay. And this is a free sidewalk. What okay, but well, you heard me. So? All right. Is that, is that a lawful order? If you keep following me, what? What law is that? What law would I be breaking if I followed you? Will you follow me into the courthouse over there and we'll, you know. Good. Uh, I'm here to see the building. The building. Yeah. Uh, I'm documenting the building. I guess they asked him what, what he was going to do. He said, I'm here to see the building. And they asked, do you have a work order? A reasonable question, right? Is this a public building? Because <laughs> apparently he, he may not have a, a work order. Not like public, public. Come mm. on now. Mm. What do you mean public, public? This, this, this not a public building? Not like public, public. He said, not like public, public. What does that mean? I guess that goes along with the, with the notion of uh, the different publics. I mean, if it's public, it's public, right? I understand that. And I understand that there's a delineation between public, traditional public, non-public they are describing public the public so even though people say it's a it's a non-public forum I, I wonder if it would be clear if you said a non-public public forum because now that's interesting if you say a non-public public forum which is not the wording apparently that they use in the con or in, in the supreme court i think it might be clearer that it's public but you know, it's subject to time, place, and manner. We understand that. Uh, and then that, that, that same entity can also put reasonable uh, prohibitions or restrictions. I, obviously, that's much debated, and I'm not here to, to clear all that up. And I, I never set out to, to be a First Amendment auditor. Um, and in the process of, you know, the, sit, the situation that occurred to me, if you check out my video, um, you'll see what, what occurred. I don't want to get too much away, but First Amendment auditing found me. I developed some questions with regards to recording in public, and it was simply because of a situation that occurred with me. So um, I am in the learning process when it comes to the First Amendment community. I, I think there are two sides to that community, one being uh, First Amendment auditors and what they call First Amendment audit, uh, auditor trolls. <laughs> Same coin, different size, different ways of looking at it. And by the way, these these two in that community are not the hero of the story. The Constitution is the hero. Uh, the First Amendment is the hero. So the way that each one's each side of those of that coin interjects themselves in in the story. Um, can be done in many different ways, and I think that's the problem that each has with each other. So, that's just. I would have a problem with them because when they take people to jail, they're not going to jail. Oh, that's true. Oh, that's true. Central. Central.
Sounds like he's calling for her sister. You said, sir, please who's coming line. down? You said, sir, come here. who coming. is this person? No, so, who is it? They're coming down, sir. They who? Hey, how you doing? I, I, I agree. It's, it's a simple question. AWB has gone into an area, he asks if it's public. Um, he, he asks, he asks if it's public. They ask him what he's going to be doing. He says he wants to document the building. <laughs> if there's if there is a place to that can't be documented or that is not accessible to people in general, um, then they should be able to let him know that is the case. Uh, the fact that he has equipment, etc., shouldn't be alarming on any level. I mean, because if if he came in without any equipment. I haven't seen exactly what he has, but I've seen some of his videos before. He usually has something like a, a body worn camera and, uh, and, and, and a handheld, you know, staff with, uh, you know, a monopod with, with the camera on it. That alone should not be alarming, but apparently someone else has been called. He asks who's coming and the guy's being elusive. Huh. Is this yeah. an individual? Yeah. Uh, hey, Central is supposed to be sending yeah. someone over. There's going to be a representative from the sheriff's office coming over to speak with you. Oh, I okay. see. The reason being is it's... So they're they're sending a sheriff. Um, it's not necessarily this person, but, but anyway. Secure facility. And so it's not public? Not past this point. It is. I told you that. What do you mean? This is a controlled access point. You have to be screened before you go through. Okay. But there's things here that are sensitive in nature. But the building is public. Listen. Explain Why won't you answer that question? The building's not public, no. It's not a public building? No, it's not. Okay. Because if it was, you'd be able to walk right in and walk right So out. it's not a public building? You no. say, And what's your name? Now, that it, it's very... <laughs> it, it is interesting how he words his question. His question is, is it a public building? And the answer to that question was, if it was public, you'd be able to just come in. Now, it's a reasonable restriction that you make sure that people coming into a particular place in this particular, in this case, a public building and there be security. That's reasonable. I mean, I don't see anything unreasonable about that, but it doesn't mean that, that, that there aren't any publicly accessible spaces within this building, which is what he is asking. It's a very simple question. I agree. My name is Samaransky, Nathan Samaransky. And your position here? I'm the allied supervisor. So you the allied. <sighs> Now, I, I got complaints about some of your security guards in other buildings. Really? Yeah. Let me give you my card. Be happy. Give me a call. And we'll talk about it. Yeah. Now, if you stand by for a second, the sheriff's office will be here and they'll explain to you what the process is as far as you do need to do something. Uh, they will make sure that you have all the documentation that you need. So uh -huh. if there is things that can be filled, filmed, they'll allow it. But at this point, there are people that come and go from this building that. Listen, if you're saying it's not a public building, that's enough. But if, if it is a public building and you're, and you're saying it's not, that's something different. Well, I'm telling you, it's not a public building where people can roam in and out freely. Now, now from, from just his statement alone, he's, he's letting this individual know, for whatever reason, whoever this person is, is that if you are saying that this is, a, this is not a public building, then that's good enough for me. He he is he is intimating to this gentleman that if you are telling me I cannot that there's not any places that I can go in here that aren't publicly accessible, then I'm good. Um, there's no other intent that he's he's given off, you know. And and by the way, it's a security checkpoint. 
if there was anything alarming about him or if he had any contraband, anything that wasn't supposed was supposed to go through at the checkpoint, then they would they would let him know you can't come through. You have a gun on you. But he just has a camera. What do you mean? And then he just right back. So and then he backtrack. Like he said, he, he switches roam up. in and out freely. What do you mean? Just what I said. Just what I said. So who 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 funds this building? The sheriff's office is gonna come in and answer all your questions. But can you answer that question? No, because I don't who funds to tell you the truth. Oh, okay. There you go. All right. You're doing your hair blue now? Hey, how we doing, sir? I'm doing all right. What's going on today? Yeah, so is this a public building? Well, it is, but come outside and let me talk to you real quick. Uh, can I talk right here? I'd like to talk to you right here. How about that? But i like to talk right here. Is there an issue? Just come over here so we can discuss it, please. Crazy. I... I I am kind of paused because of the way that he, this gentleman, a sheriff apparently, approaches him. He says, I like to talk, it is a public building, but I'd like to talk to you, come out here. He says, well, I'd like to do it here. I don't know where, it looks pretty sunny outside, but it's not like there's inclement weather, but regardless, why does he have to give him directions, orders that says, come out here? And for what reason? Maybe an officer doesn't have to have a reason to to set up some stipulation that says the space that you chose to be in um, doesn't work for me as far as where we're going to talk. I want you to come in the space that I designate. That's just problematic from the very beginning. Is it an issue if we stop right here? All right. So basically, I'm going to read this to you, okay? Go ahead. Florida Rule Judicial Administration. It says... Uh, <laughs> It says the chief judge may delegate authority under the rule to the presiding judges to determine the location of media equipment in courtrooms or lobbies of court facilities. Okay? So it says no video recording. R read that again. Okay. Mm -hmm. I agree. Uh, okay. See, there, there's a couple of things that I, that I notice uh, when it comes to, you know, people and life in general. Sometimes people do not listen. They start speaking before before they even actually heard what's going on. And AWB here says, read it again. Because what I heard the first time, what I heard was being that the chief judge can create orders for the presiding judges. And then he like pauses and just skips over something, whatever it is, we'll see what it is. And then he kind of in interjects his own interpretation or whatever of these rules. But AWB, rightly so, says, read that again. R read that again? Okay. Okay, well, you need to stop recording when I'm reading it, okay? Why? Now, look at this. Discuss it. Clearly here it says something about weapons. I don't see any signs that say anything about recording. Maybe this one right here says something about recording or not. R read that again? Okay. Okay, well, you need to stop recording when I'm reading I'm already going to give it a like. I'm digging it so far. Read it, okay? Why? Because we're going to discuss it, and I'm going to let you know why you can't record in here. Yeah, okay, the, the well, way, I would like to... The look on his face when he says, when he asks why, why, why do you question my authority? Uh, honestly, the, the status of a, a, of a police officer from the very beginning does represent authority, does represent law, and those kind of things, but they have tarnished the badge. The, the badge has been tarnished on so many levels because of other things that, that have occurred. And questioning the authority of something, the authority of somebody or what they are saying in and of itself is not a bad thing. You should question something when it doesn't seem right. And what this gentleman comes up and starts off from the very beginning and the way that he does to an individual that is simply carrying a camera and asks the type of question that says, if you are saying it is X, then I will do Y and we will be okay. And if there's a problem, I don't know if this is what he does, but if there is a problem, then I will proceed accordingly. But this gentleman right here, this officer just takes an approach that just puts it in a different light.
discuss it, I'm gonna let you know why you can't record in here. Okay. Well, okay. I would like to document. So turn it off until we finish speaking. Okay. If I don't turn it, I demand you. How far are you gonna arrest me? Just turn it off. I'm not here yes to fight no, with you. I'm, yes, gonna, I'm gonna explain the process. Yes, to yes, you. no question. Okay, if we get to that point, it could happen. If I don't stop recording, me, will let's, you let's arrest me? Let's bring it back down to this level and let me explain it to you, okay? If, if you would just say yes or no. Turn the camera off and we'll talk about it. It's a yes or no question. All right. We can go down that route if you want. I'm yeah, asking okay. you yes or no. Yes. Really? We can go down that route if you want. That's what he says. AWE has expressed his desire to do something and he reaches, he comes up to opposition. But he doesn't do anything other than just say, okay, fine. I'll talk to the individual who you are saying is going to tell me something. But this gentleman, because of the responses that AWB gives, says, okay, we'll, we'll go down that route. It's not the way that I think that he, that he should go. Yes. Okay. Okay. So you will, more specifically, it's not the way that, that it should go when what he has in his hand doesn't say that he can't record in this particular space or possibly in any other space that is in this particular building that's publicly accessible, it says something about the courtroom and setting up equipment for reasonable reasons, right? Seven journalists wanting to set up uh, their shot, running around the court, doing things. It's reasonable for a judge and they have the right to do so for them to put restrictions on and protect the sanctity of prosecutors, witnesses, jurors, uh, you know, those kind of things. This is not that scenario. And he's adding to what the interpretation of this particular paper. I don't see it in front of me, but that's what it seems like to me. Arrest me if I don't. I will. Off. Okay. It is okay, kind of after disgusting. Okay. 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 Do we get that out of my face? Okay. You stepped up to me. All right. Exactly. You did. You did step up to me. <laughs> I would say, I would think and say the same thing. Okay. All right. I'm the you want to leave the property? Or do you have I'm, business I'm, to conduct? I'm in the public area. Do you have business to conduct? Yeah, I do. Okay, well, go conduct your business without you the cameras. Report, so. Without the cameras. But that's my business. Okay. Without the cameras, you can conduct business. With the cameras, you can leave the premise. Magically, your ability to conduct business disappears because you have a camera in hand i mean it it doesn't it doesn't make sense on any level and he have, he has not explained that it does i am in agreement with what it, where awb is questioning and and i understand his position right right at this moment because what is it that he has done other than attempt to bring a camera into this building apparently some type of a courthouse okay. um, yeah. You still own the property. This is right. So walk out to the sidewalk and you can wear it you want. Right here. You can't go in the building and record. That's good. Okay? I'm not playing your games today. Well, I've joined the community of First Amendment auditors. This gentleman right here, AWB, has he was told that the stairs where he was was the building. You can't conduct business with your camera. So he stepped down. He didn't even have to be told to step down. This, the guy just does it anyway. And it appears he's going to be walking away. You want to be a child about it. But at the same time, he steps in his space and says, you are pointing the camera in my face. I go play. I'm not being a child. If you want to be right. Okay, stop following so, me. I'm not following If you want to be a child about it. This is right? So walk out to the sidewalk and you can wear it right here. Take one building and record. That's Okay, I'm not playing your games today. You want to be a child about it? We're not gonna play. I'm not being a child. Y'all just want to violate our rights. Okay, stop following me. I'm not following you. Okay. And this is a free sidewalk. Okay, okay you but you heard me. So, all right. Is that is that a lawful order? If you keep following me. What? What law is that? What law would I be breaking if I followed you? Will you follow me into the courthouse over there? It's so telling that under the threat of law. If you keep following me, that's what he says. If you keep following me, what what is going to happen? I'm going to take out my gun. By the way, I see a body camera on him. I wonder if it's recording. But he, he claims that he doesn't want to record and take the camera off my face and I'll talk to you. 
So maybe he's not recording because otherwise the record would be lost, right? There will, you know. I told you you can't record okay. inside facilities, so I'm you going know, over I'm there. Not inside the facility. Okay. Right. And we're done. Uh, yeah. Have a good day. Says all right. Yeah. All right, then we're done. He says all right, then we're done. Follow me into the courthouse over there. Well, you know. I told you you can't record inside facilities, so I'm you going know, over I'm there. Not inside the facility. Okay. All right, then we're done. Yeah. Have a good day. You have the day you deserve. You have the date. You have the day that you that you deserve. They apparently take that as a threat. Look, look at look at his, look at the look on his face. He does not like that he said that. Yeah. Have a good day. You have the day you deserve. He doesn't want him to say anything. He holds his hand up. I don't know why. I don't know what he said, but he basically is like shush shushing him. I'm walking down the sidewalk. That's what he's doing. That's all he's doing, recording. Uh, he's uh, at what does that say? 13th Judici Judicial Circuit Court, uh, Florida. So, no, no First Amendment in this building either. Can't be on this building. This is where it stops right here. You record out here all day, okay. Watch it. There, look, he, he does not like, once again, once again, he is about to say something about that he's recording. It doesn't look like he's that close to me, but I, I just think it's interesting that he's talking to him. He, he addresses him, but he has the camera up and he's like, watch it. So no, no First Amendment in this building either. Can't be on this building. This is where it stops right here. You record out here all day, okay? Watch it. Crazy. So what happened to your? You gave me your card already. I, I thought you were gonna give me your card. So we're at the George E. Edgecombe Courthouse. They're saying that I can't go. Nobody recording can go past these uh, these pillars right here, which is a lie because I was here yesterday or Friday recording and no one said anything to me. So. An administrative order is defined as a directive necessary to administer properly the court's affairs but not inconsistent with the Constitution or with the court rules and administrative orders enacted by the Supreme Court. Rule 2.215, Florida Rules of Judicial Administration. The chief judge of each of Florida's 20 judicial circuits has administrative supervision over all courts within the circuit and may enter and sign administrative orders to carry out this responsibility. Administrative orders deal with a variety of topics such as judge assignments, case assignments, and data maintenance, storage, retrieval, and archival. By using the navigation to the left, you'll be able to locate information pertaining to administrative orders. 
the administrative orders start off with seven whereas statements. And whereas simply means taking into consideration the fact that something exists or occurs. So the whereas statements are as follows. Whereas Florida Rule of Judicial Administration 2.450, Rule 2.450, provides for technological coverage of judicial proceedings. And whereas Rule 2.450 does not authorize photographing, recording, or broadcasting in the corridors, hallways, or lobbies of courthouse facilities. And whereas photographing, recording, or broadcasting in the corridors, hallways, or lobbies of courthouse facilities has the potential of disrupting other court proceedings and functions and creating safety hazards. And whereas Florida Rule of Judicial Administration 2.215B authorizes the chief judge to regulate the use of the courthouse facilities. And whereas the undersigned chief judge wishes to delegate authority under Rule 2.450 to the presiding judges for determining location of media equipment in the courtrooms. And whereas the court must carefully balance the media's news gathering right with the dignity of the judicial process and safety concerns of the public, and whereas it is necessary for the efficient and proper administration of justice in the 13th Judicial Circuit to update the procedures regarding photographing, recording, or broadcasting in the courthouse facilities, it is therefore ordered. So it would be interesting to find out if there is another order in place that supersedes this order dated March 2007 and I would encourage um, AWB if he already hasn't to go ahead and check out to see what the orders order or orders that are in place with regards to these facilities uh, and in this particular place he did a reasonable job with regards to his request and what he was trying to do and he had said that he was previously there and was able to record. I just don't know if he was recording in the specific areas that he um, was able to do so according to this order for this courthouse or these courthouses. So um, it remains to be seen and maybe I'll check out the video that he has that shows what happened in that place. This is Corruption 101. And we're gonna talk to the chief about this on on Monday. I mean, on Tuesday. Thank you for checking out my video. Please like and consider subscribing. I want to be the greatest. Everybody on the face shit. I look around and feel like everybody is the fakest. I make this every day and I'm impatient. Hoping one day I blow up from the basement. Statement, the top is so vacant. I don't hear shit that I think is amazing. Waiting for my day when I'm playing. Sold out shows for a thousand faces. Hey, give me that crown. Get in my way and you'll be put down. It ain't your place. All this my town. If I want that shit, then I'll get it right now. I'm losing it, the noose if it's some loose shit, a stupid myth. You choose to live or choose to dip, you choose to fight or lose your grip and lose a gift. Oh.